Cut. Hello, Brian Lynch here. It is February 2023 uh, out here at the orchard. Uh, having a walk around today and uh, seeing how the trees have done over the last uh, year or two. And uh, it's kind of a, uh, a bittersweet day. Uh, due to uh, some recent events that have happened, I have decided that uh, in the next uh, year or two that I uh, will be selling this place. Uh, it is uh, it is time to move on. Uh, but uh, the Pawpaw Project is not ending, uh, far from it. Uh, so what happened is that uh, back in 2016, uh, that was several years ago now, I uh, moved away from my job uh, about 90 miles north of here. And, uh, you know, I'm not able to uh, get down here as often as I would like. And, uh, in fact, I probably only get down here maybe five or six times a year. And that's, uh, that's really just not enough time uh, to uh, maintain an orchard. So, uh, I will now be uh, uh, cleaning up this place trying to make it look presentable, and uh, probably be uh, offering it for sale in the next uh, uh, six months to two years or so, depending on how fast I can get it to look uh, presentable. Uh, right now, it's uh, it's kind of a mess. Uh, you can see there's uh, it, it, the, uh, the place is in uh, desperate need of a good bush hogging, and uh, there's also a cabin back there that I have most of my stuff in that probably needs uh, some work done on it before it's uh, ready to get sale. But uh, uh, overall, I've had uh, spent a lot of time at this orchard. Uh, it was uh, really nice to see how the uh, the pawpaw trees have done. Uh, learned a lot about how to grow pawpaw trees, and uh, I I've been really impressed at how well they've done despite my lack of care. I mean, all these trees right here, they were planted I think back in 2016. And they've just done wonderfully. I mean, I, I every now and then I would uh, come out here and try and weed whack or cut down the weeds as much as I could. And that's about it. And uh, this past uh, autumn, I probably got about uh, 50 pounds of pawpaws out of these trees. And I'm sure uh, in years going forward, it's going to be even more. Uh, but uh, since I moved about 90 miles away, I just can't get down here as often as I like. Uh, uh, the uh, Spending three hours on the road just to come down here uh, makes for a very long day, and I'm just not. It's uh, life gets in the way, so I'm not able to uh, come out here as much as often as I'd like. So, because of that, and some other things that have happened recently, uh, which I'll talk about in some future videos, I have decided that uh, uh, this orchard is probably going to be uh, put up for sale in the next uh, six months to two years. If you're interested in a pawpaw orchard in Lafayette, Indiana? shoot me a message. Probably got, uh, you know, I, I've never, I don't think I've counted the uh, specific number of trees I have, but I probably have, I would say close to 100 pawpaw trees that are probably in the, you know, about five to six years old range. Uh, like this one right here. Uh, all the uh, all the trees that have yellow, uh, red marking flags on them, uh, those are all pawpaws, and you can see that they are uh, a lot of them are doing uh, pretty well. Let's see, 